What is a travel bubble? Vaccine passport and digital green pass. We're answering these questions in this video. Hey friends, I'm Matteo, this is Misha, and we are the Global Expats. If you're new here and you're interested in travel or you're looking for tips, tricks, and inspiration for life abroad, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. So first up, what is a travel bubble? A travel bubble, also known as travel bridges or corona corridors, is essentially when a set of countries agree to keep their borders open to each other, but keep all borders to other countries closed. This allows people to travel freely within the bubble without having to quarantine upon arrival. So travel bubbles are pretty much like the social bubbles people created during the pandemic, where they would only see and hang out with certain friends and family to limit the spread of the virus. An example of two countries already doing this is Australia and New Zealand. They've made a travel bubble between themselves so the citizens of each country can visit the other without having to deal with the normal COVID restrictions. What is a vaccine passport? A vaccine passport is essentially a person's individual stats on their COVID situation. So whether or not they had COVID and recovered from it, if they've had the vaccine, and if they haven't had the vaccine, what the COVID test results were before they flew. So now what is a digital green pass? It is essentially the same as a vaccine passport, but just for use in Europe. The goal is to turn individual countries' vaccination certificates into internationally recognized passes for travel. Now these vaccine passports do have a little bit of controversy surrounding them. So one of the problems is that there is no standard in place for what the key elements should be in these passports and certificates across all the different countries. And so they are struggling to agree with what should be in this vaccine passport, which means that there's inconsistencies everywhere. And the second problem is that there's a worry that wealthier countries can get the vaccine and the vaccine passports before the poorer countries even have access to it. This is creating a little bit of an ethics issue. The WHO, so the World Health Organization, has come out and said that they actually do not support the vaccine passports and digital green pass ideas because of this issue. So there is a worry that vaccinated travelers could possibly carry the virus to unvaccinated people in these poorer areas of the world. So we have yet to see if these vaccine passports and digital green certificates will become a reality this year. We're hoping to get the vaccine when it is our turn. If you've been vaccinated, let us know in the comments below. We're really hoping for the world to start opening up again so we can just carry back on. to travel. Please. For more travel related updates, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And for more travel related tips and tricks, check out the videos over here. Catch you later, friends.